A tense standoff continues as thousands of migrants remain trapped along the eastern frontier of the European Union. On Sunday, Europe's foreign policy chief tweeted his reaction after speaking with Belarus's foreign minister in the first high-level talks between Brussels and Minsk since the crisis began. The current situation is unacceptable and must stop. People should not be used as weapons. The EU is preparing to widen its sanctions on Belarus to target airlines, travel agencies and officials involved in trafficking migrants to the Polish border. Western governments accuse Belarus of luring migrants to fly from the Middle East to Minsk, then funneling them towards Poland and preventing them from returning to Minsk when they're turned back by Polish police. At least eight have died along the border so far. Brussels says Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has orchestrated the crisis in a bid to pressure the EU to lift earlier sanctions over a brutal crackdown on dissent after last year's widely disputed election saw the man nicknamed Europe's last dictator once again extend his nearly 30-year grip on power. Belarus denies the accusations, with its foreign minister warning that new sanctions will be hopeless and counterproductive. Last week, Lukashenko threatened to retaliate by shutting down the transit of Russian natural gas to Europe. The EU has managed to slow new arrivals at the border, with several Middle Eastern airlines suspending flights to Belarus or banning one-way tickets to Minsk.